I completed the entire extreme program to unlock 99 Ken Griffey Jr. Now, if you just want to get to my gameplay with Griffey, go to this timestamp on the screen. But right now, I'm going to give you my step-by-step -step guide on how I completed extreme. So the first thing I did was all the moments. If you want to go see me do all the moments, go check out the video I posted a couple days ago. I'll leave it linked in the description as well. But I did every single moment except for the Ellie De La Cruz cycle one. Couldn't do it, man. I spent like eight hours on this moment and couldn't get it done. I gave up. Luckily, this moment is only worth three points. So I went ahead and bought and collected the 95 Bruce Suter to make up for those three points. He was only like 50K and quite frankly, I would have paid a hell of a lot more to not do that Ellie moment again. After completing the moments in that one collection, my next goal was to complete the showdown. Now, I'm just going to be honest. I don't think a lot of casual players are going to be able to complete this showdown. It's tough because you have to face some of the best pitchers in the game on some of the hardest difficulties in the game. Luckily, I was able to do it without too much of an issue. I think the one that I came the closest to failing was the Nolan Ryan one. And unfortunately, I don't really have any major tips for this showdown. You know, you're going to be facing Nolan Ryan on Hall of Fame and Randy Johnson on Legend. You kind of just have to be good enough at hitting to compete on those difficulties. The one strategy that I do think is pretty effective is don't be afraid to bunt. You're going to be hitting into a lot of outs in these showdowns. You may as well make those outs productive. If you can get a bunt down and advance runners in showdown, that's huge because you might be striking out or popping up on the infield or hitting shallow fly balls into the outfield or whatever. None of those are really advancing the base runner and getting you closer to scoring the run that you need. At least with a bunt, you can set yourself up to get a guy at like third base or something and then if you hit a ball in the outfield you can try and tag and score yes you are giving up outs but at the end of the day you're gonna hit in those outs anyway most likely you may as well make them productive so once i completed all those moments in the showdown i then decided to do mini seasons or conquest and ultimately i went with mini seasons and i'll explain why every mini seasons voucher that you get for the extreme program is worth two points and during the mini season you can get vouchers in a bunch of different ways if you just simply make the playoffs you get one voucher if you win the first round of the playoffs you get two more so that puts you at three and then if you win the mini seasons championship you get six and you can do all that on rookies so that's 12 points just from completing a mini season but they also have other challenges you can do along the way to earn you more vouchers you can get 60 total bases while playing on all-star or higher 30 strikeouts on legend will get you one you can get 10 runs in a single game on hall of fame difficulty and they also have these repeatable win missions so if you win 15 mini seasons games on all-star you get one voucher if you win 10 on hall of fame you get two vouchers and then if you win five on legend you get three so basically i did an entire mini season i won 10 games on legend so that gave me another six vouchers i got the 60 total bases i got the 30 strikeouts on legend of course i won the mini seasons championship so i was able to complete one full mini season while also getting 10 saves with billy wagner along the way for another five Five points in the program and that ultimately got me to 100 and throughout that entire mini seasons grind i got all of those points while playing less overall games than i would have played in the conquest and i am very happy to be done with extreme so on the squad we have griffey we have Cattell Marte, mike piazza i also have matt kane in the rotation with billy the kid in the bullpen let's find out if all this hard work is going to pay off in rank as i search for a game just a reminder if you're going to any baseball games coming up remember to use code coogs on SeatGeek to save 20 dollars off those tickets and check out underdog fantasy for daily fantasy sports these are the pick em entries i'm going with for today's mlb games if you want to sign up and play on underdog use my code kooks to sign up and they'll match your first deposit all the way up to a hundred bucks all right we're facing paul skeens oh i missed a fastball first ab all good here he comes 99 core ken griffey jr oh oh base hit first ab and i went up to get that fastball too piazza please be good this year i would love to use piazza more there's just so many catchers that i would use over him i just want him to be good for me for one year three one mike you gotta get something to hit here Woo! oh perfect perfect get by vlad let's go that might score griffey with 90 speed 
That's scoring the kid. I'm now getting my first look at Matt Kane on the mound. Finally, we have a good Matt Kane, dude. He had his card from season two, the incognito one, but I don't remember him being very good. I feel like his attributes, at least his hits per nine or his clutch or something just wasn't up to par to match up with the better starting pitchers in the game. Not even a very good pitch. Oh yeah, super dot. I know exactly what I want to do now. Threw a fastball high and in. Trying to set up this change up. <laughs> good take. How does that slider keep working? Schwarbs? <laughs> Look at Schwarber getting dirty. That might be gone. Nope, never mind. That right center field was way deeper than I thought it was going to be. All good. Lead off double for Ellie. Wish she could do that in that damn moment. Ooh. Wow, that's an insane pitch. Uh, I mean, 99 speed. That's easily scoring Ellie. Look at me getting big hits with guys on base. Come on, Marte. You're the only extreme guy without a hit so far. I missed another fastball with him. So down in the comments, I would love to know what you think about Extreme this year. Have you completed it? Are you even going to attempt to complete it? I know a lot of people just got Cattell Marte and then kind of dipped out and said, yeah, I'm not really doing this anymore. Overall, I'm curious what your thoughts are. I think this Extreme was not as easy as MLB 22s, but overall with the amount of ways that you can earn progress in the program. Oh. Nice swing. Overall, the amount of ways that you can earn progress in the program, I think it's not quite as difficult as MLB uh, 19 and 20, because you can skip things. You don't have to complete everything if you want to try to complete this uh, extreme program. If there's some things that you're really struggling on, you can try to finish those points in other areas of the program. But one thing I will say is the Ellie De La Cruz moment is Easily the worst moment of all time, in my opinion. Yes, part of that is me being salty that I haven't completed it. Although at this point I completed the program, so I really don't care. But I just went back and played Moments Extreme from MLB 19 and 20 and 22. You can check out that video a couple days ago as well. So all of those old moments are very fresh in my mind. I've just played them. And I don't think there is a single moment in MLB The Show history that relies more on luck than the Ellie De La Cruz moment. Getting that triple is purely luck-based. You have to hope that one of the outfielders gets a bad animation or something, or maybe the cutoff man makes a bad throw, just something like that in order to get that triple. And only then can you even think about possibly completing the moment. But yeah, that's kind of my spiel on it. I think it's a really dumb moment. It sucks. It being on All-Star actually makes it harder because Ellie just hits the ball too hard. Everything leaves the yard. I hate that moment. I don't plan on ever completing it. Congratulations to anybody that did. You can hold that over me for the rest of time. But I still got Ken Griffey Jr. without it. So let's hit a home run. 3-2 on Griffey. Come on. I want to swing the bat. That's such a good pitch, dude. Look at that location. And that slider is working pretty well for Matt Cain. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, what? Double play, double play. Come on, Marte. Come on, dude. Get it there. Throw it home, throw it home, throw it home. We're good. I don't know why people do that so much. So many people run themselves out of the inning like that. It's crazy. Ellie, come on, come on, come on. Get over the fence. Ellie De La Cruz, man. He's got a double and a home run. Dude, watch me hit for the cycle in this game. How fitting would that be? You know, I am going to say one thing. Right now, I, I hope I'm not jinxing it, but it's really nice to not be facing... John Donaldson right now. Oh, Acuna. Oh my God. Get through there. Ooh, I am on skeins in this inning. Dude. <laughs> what is going on? He might have to get skeins out of this game. I cannot miss right now. Oh, he went to a lefty. No, I don't want to hit lefty lefty with Griffey. I will hit against a lefty with Marte though. Come on, Griffey, lefty, lefty, right here. Get up the middle, come on, come on. Oh, I'll take another single. Um, 
Where is this? Yeah, that, that should be enough to score Cattell Marte. Another RBI for Piazza. All the extreme players are performing pretty well. As long as Matt Kane keeps performing well, we're in good shape. <laughs> I think Acuna should be able to make this grab, though. Come on, come on. Out of baby, Ronald. I can't even explain to you the amount of times I saw that exact animation in the Ellie De La Cruz moment. Nice. Going fastball. I feel like he's going to home run here. Hey, got to be honest. Matt Kane is looking good through four. Ellie is having a day. Saw that coming. All right, another game, and I got to face Bob Gibson. I thought my days of facing Bob were done. And my opponent picked Tropicana. This is a choice. Am I ever going to learn to hit that pitch with Cattell? Thought that was going to be a four seam, and it just kept moving away. Yo, that was such a sick first inning. That was so fun. Randy. Ooh. Yep. Let's do that all game, Randall. Go a little out of the zone this time with a fastball. Never mind, that went back to the zone. Damn, we both sucked in that first inning. I can't tell if it's a good thing that I'm facing Bob Gibson or a bad thing. Because on one hand, I hate facing Bob Gibson. But on the other hand, it's not John Donaldson. So I don't know. I don't know which side weighs heavier for me. All I know is that I've sent eight guys to the plate and I don't have a hit. Oh my, dude, I... <laughs> Randy's going crazy, though. Just mowing down this lineup. Damn. <laughs> We've played three innings, and there hasn't been a single base runner on either side. Maybe this is the inning where that changes. Come on, Marte. Okay. There it is. Griffey gets us in the hit column. I'd like to see Griffey hit the ball over the fence. This dude is a singles machine right now. Yep, definitely missed that slider. Okay, man, what? What? Robbing could tell is one thing, but then you're going to rob Mickey on a slider down the middle of the plate? At least the swings got better in the last inning, you know? I may have gotten hoed by the game, but at least I, you know, actually put up good ABs. There we go. This is how we bounce back after giving up a hit. And we got out of it. No score after four. Two out walk. That's good. Come on, Schwarby. Take advantage of that. Just like that. That's why that two out walk is so huge. Give Kyle Schwarber a chance and he won't let you down. All right, Marte. Hopefully this time you'll get rewarded if you get a good swing. Like that. No. No. Oh my God. It is not Marte's day. <laughs> I... I tried to check. Ah, oh, that's so bad, dude. Save! Two out base runner. Take advantage of it again. Or not. Wow. Didn't think that was gonna happen. Um, that was on two strikes as well. Are we getting it back? We are getting it right back. Hammer and Hank delivers. And this might actually also be a rage quit. <laughs> yep, I think he's out of here, fellas. Two rage quits in two games with the extreme squad. Not a bad day for the extreme squad.